I should make a YouTube video. Dude. <laughs> Why even bother? Let's go just take a nap. We work all week. It's hard. What, I mean, what are you trying to do? Get like a second job or something? It's just too much work. Let's just enjoy ourselves. Okay, please. I am kind of thirsty and uh, <laughs> not ready just always looks good. You want to make another YouTube video? Would you think this one's going to get you a million views? Well, no, I know I'm not going to get a million views, go viral overnight, all that stuff. But like I get a few views, you're going to get a handful of views. It's going to be friends. It's going to be pity views because they feel bad for you. They wonder what the crap you're doing. I don't even know why you bother. Maybe you're just not cut out for this. I mean, look, look at the way your nose comes across on camera. I just I don't think you have the, the face for this or the, the charm or the know-how or something. It's just, I just don't think you're cut out for this. Oh, you sad little thing. I'm sure you could make something. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it won't be nearly as good as, say, Peter McKinnon's Potato Jets. Y you may know how to pronounce Mati Hapoya's name, but you'll never be in the realm of his production quality. <laughs> Even the idea that you would try is laughable. Why, I mean, I know I'm not as, as big time as some of those big time YouTubers, the, the people that I admire, but they started somewhere. Think of all the great YouTubers, the great artists. You think that you, you can, can sit among them? Don't make me laugh. Ah, uh, I've heard, I've heard better ideas. I've heard better ideas. Well, so, mm, uh, making videos is great, but I worry the picture quality's not up to snuff. Hey, uh, let's be honest, you don't have the latest lights for Aperture, and uh, what kind of softbox are you working with, hmm? It's not that you have to stop. It's just that I would, mm, I would refrain from making videos for just a little bit. My equipment is good enough for what I need. Of course I'd like more, but... I think you should just wait just a little bit longer. Just, just hold off on uh, posting those videos until we can really, really just uh, get it, get it set up to be, you know, that, that, uh, that crisp production quality that, uh, I just, I, I worry that uh, yours is, um, shall we say, is, uh, is utter garbage. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's really just uh, my, my, uh, my concern. I would like a fancier camera, I guess, sometimes. It is laughable. It is hilarious. It is pathetic. But uh, here you are. No, you Come on. You have a few Let's credit go. cards. <laughs> is that correct? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, so so uh, Come on. Oh, Hershey's oh, company is time. always waiting to satisfy your needs. Come on. Come on. Let's, Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's, Let's go right on. now. Mm. Let's not go Don't anywhere. I've got a few extra. You. Come on. Come on over. Okay. Yeah. Stop. This idea came to me as I was sitting there and thinking about creating a video. And then I started thinking about all the doubts and frustrations that I deal with. And I just thought, you know what? I think it would be a lot of fun to try and, and do a video that personifies those. I think what I really learned through doing this is that caricaturizing your doubts and fears into something that you can almost like make fun of from like a weird secondhand kind of point of view or something. It was amazingly therapeutic. But it also reminded me of how I've grown as a photographer and a videographer and 
how, yes, and I tried to be as authentic as I could when I wrote down these doubts and fears. These are things I struggle with. There are things I doubt about myself and things that I don't love that I feel. But you know what? I feel them. So might as well be authentic with it. And by looking at them this way, I realized, you know what? There's a lot of silly things about the way that I doubt my abilities. And I imagine that maybe you don't go off and make the same kind of video or something, but at least sitting there and thinking about the doubts and fears that are holding you back from doing things that you want to do, whether it be laziness, whether it be doubt, whether it be envy of people that you admire, whether it be the tech nerd side of things that is always wanting the better camera, lighting gear, bike, guitar, car, whatever it is, and you're thinking, I can't go off and have an adventure right now because I need that better gear. <sighs> there are people in humankind's history that had a lot less stuff to work with and they went off and scaled mountains and they built airplanes and boats and they crossed oceans and they did amazing things with what they had available at the time. They didn't wait around to have the perfect gear before starting on their adventures. That's a reminder that I could have daily and it still probably wouldn't be enough. I'm Neil Oler, reminding you that you don't have to have it be perfect, but don't wait around. Get out, conquer your fears, conquer your doubts, conquer the things that are holding you back from achieving what you want to do and go out and get it done. If you like this video, please, please, please share it with your friends. I would love a thumbs up. If you're not yet a subscriber, I would love you to join us. Stick around for 2019. I think, I think we're gonna have some fun together. <laughs>